It was a short-lived picket line for the last of Canada's auto workers who were waiting on a deal. On Monday at midnight Eastern time, the signs were out, but Uniform Stellantis struck a tentative three-year agreement in time for afternoon shift workers to be back on the line. The most important thing is that we're securing jobs, especially with the electric vehicle technology here in Canada, and that we put a, a footprint for the country here and for this province. All three U.S. automakers have seen Uniform negotiating teams work out deals with job action limited and salary gains of up to 25% over three years. In a statement, Stellantis North America's chief operating officer says he's thankful for the negotiating team's efforts to reach a deal. One, two, three, Sunday! The strikes have lasted longer in the U.S., but on Monday, General Motors reached a tentative agreement with auto workers, which would be the last of Detroit's big three to secure a deal. These record agreements reward auto workers who gave up much uh, to keep the industry working and going during the financial crisis more than a decade ago. And Unifor is also seeing more than 300 cargo workers end a week-long strike with the St. Lawrence Seaway Authority. These labor disputes are being resolved faster compared to strikes earlier this year, like at BC Ports, the Federal Public Service, and Metro Grocery Workers in Greater Toronto. Experts say those picket lines have set new limits at negotiating tables in response to a sharp increase to the cost of living. That lasted longer in part because two parties were adjusting to the new reality. Now the new reality has been here for over a year. Hopefully employers are getting the message and uh, if they're a bit more attuned to those needs that workers are expressing, then I think future negotiations can be settled without work stoppage. But several stoppages could be on the horizon, with Air Canada pilots holding informational pickets this week and more than 400,000 Quebec public servants telling the province its latest offer falls short of the mark. Kyle Benning, Global News.